So, Adrian, yeah. um, you have been Duncan McLeod from the Highlander TV series. Now we are doing a radio show specifically about the Highlander songs and everything that goes with it. How, how did you actually get to be the Highlander character? How, what was the, the way that you actually got into it? Yeah, the, the process was, um, it was fairly long, not that long, probably about two months, maybe two, okay. three months. Um, you know, I was actually the first person they ever saw for it, really? which was bizarre. Yeah, they um, they they cast in um, in Los Angeles and New York and England, and mm -hmm. I was the first person that sat down with them at the Beverly Hills, Beverly Hilton, I think it was here in Beverly Hills, um, and I just sat down and I said, "You don't have to look any further. You've got your guy." And they thought I was a real cheeky mother. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, you know, I I just said, you know, listen, I've I've I really feel that I've I, I'm I'm p supposed to be part of this. And literally about, probably about three months prior, I'd actually walked into another casting where um, I saw the Highlander 2 poster on the wall and I just went, ah, something about that. I'm going to be part of that. I just, I just know I am. And, um, you know, so after I'd met them, they then asked me to do a reading for them. And then I, they asked me to do a screen test for them. And that screen test was with five actors out of New York, England, and uh, Los Angeles. And we did it on the Universal lot. Um, and then two weeks went by because what you have to understand is when Highlander, a lot of these TV shows today and, and before they're, they're not just, we've funded it and done. I mean, you've got Netflix, Netflix and, and, uh, um, Amazon and all these other places that sometimes fund it and you don't have to worry about it, but with an independent, um, or syndicated show like Highlander was. Yes. It, had, it had five different countries, and I think it was um, France, Italy, Germany, Japan, and I think the United States. Mm -hmm. And so they had to have approval by everybody. And it came down to two people. And my agent was told, yes, yeah, between two people, you and somebody else. And time went by, and we didn't hear anything. And he said to me, he said, you know, usually what happens is when you don't hear anything like this, it's gone. Yeah, and so he said, "I'm going on vacation." So after he left, and about yeah. two three days later, I was training in a gym, and uh, I was I was kind of bummed out because I really thought I was going to get this thing, mm. like most actors do on yeah. most auditions, really. Yeah, sure. But you know, I walked in and I said, um, "I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do this something with this, but it's not going to happen." Oh well, you know. And I was training in the gym. I looked over and I said to the trainer, I "said You know, if if I'd gotten this role, I could have possibly afforded that Mercedes over there." <laughs> and um, I walked back home and my then wife, uh, my first wife said to me, oh, you got it. I said, got what? She said, Highlander. And I said, what? And she, she started crying because she knew I was going to have to be going away for a long time. Yeah. And um, she said, you're leaving on Monday. And this was like Thursday. <laughs> I'm okay. like, sure what? Is. Like, they wait this amount of time to tell mm. me that I've cut the role and then they give you like no time to prepare. So, um, off I went, like two days later, three days later, I, I was off to Vancouver, and um, as luck could have it, they then said, oh, by the way, Christopher Lambert uh, is possibly coming in to do the role, so we're pushing a week. I was like, yeah. So that yeah. gave me time to really sort of know who everybody was, get used mm -hmm. to the role, work on the lines, work on the sword stuff, which I started working with Bob Anderson. Mm -hmm. And Bob Anderson was a legend. I mean, he did so many different movies, Lord of the Rings, uh, um, First Night, Highlander, uh, um, Star Wars, um, mm. um, what's, it, what's it called? Um, Game of Thrones. I mean, he did yeah. he did so many things. He was such a legend. And um, I was so honored to actually work with him. And, and so I worked with him for a few days until Christoph came in. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we just hit it off and had a great time. And the first episode was, you know, two kids playing pretty much.